So my name is Daniel Leon. I'm the CEO and president of uh, Celsius Network, uh, a revolutionary peer-to-peer -peer lending and borrowing uh, on the blockchain. Um, we're a small company, 35 people, uh, based in New York City and Tel Aviv and Belgrade. And we're building a, a platform that will allow uh, crypto holders to earn interest and to borrow fiat against their crypto holdings. On the other hand, we would allow um, hedge funds and pros to uh, short crypto um, by lending tokens from those people who believe in the future of cryptocurrencies. So I'm, um, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur uh, the last uh, 15 years. I uh, moved to uh, the United States from uh, Israel after graduating from college. I spent a few years in the consulting world and and then started several businesses, uh, some of which uh, didn't work quite well. Um, my co-founder and the CEO of the company is uh, Alex Mashinsky, and I have known each other for 12 years. We worked on several companies together. Um, the last one was Groundlink, which was the Uber before Uber. Um, and then a year and a half ago, we uh, partnered again, um, and I joined his family office, which is a VC that invests in Israeli companies, and we started looking at various opportunities, and crypto was one of them. At that time, Alex had been um, uh, looking into blockchain technology as a technologist. He, had, he started as skeptical, but uh, saw blockchain as a technology that has the potential to revolutionize everything that we're doing. And we started taking a closer look. At the beginning, we started making investments and advisors. And then, since we're both entrepreneurs, uh, we just couldn't st you know, sit still. And what we basically looked at is... Um, we looked at the use case because we believe that for blockchain to really be adopted, the technology, and uh, we have to rely, we have to come up with a use case that will bring the next 100 million people. And we believe that there's no better use case than credit because the world uh, runs on credit. That's correct. Um, so initially, as, um, uh, as more and more people are depositing their coins, and as long as we've got demand for those coins from the other side, we, um, uh, we would provide people from up to 5% to 9% interest on their cryptocurrencies. Okay. So we've got um, a few quants that have been uh, working hard on the various formulas that we'll be using to determine um, the, the, the loan value that we would give people uh, against their cryptos. Obviously, the more volatile the coin is, uh, the higher the collateral that we would expect you uh, to get. So the less money you'll be able to get against your cryptos. With more stable coins, you'll be able to get up to 50% of the value of the coin. So when it comes to hedging, we should talk about two types of hedging, right? Um, so let's talk about the case that somebody deposit um, 10 Bitcoins and borrow, against, ag borrow fiat against those Bitcoins. Uh, if the price of Bitcoin goes down significantly, mm -hmm. right, below the you know, 40, 50% thresholds, what we do, we issue margin calls mm -hmm. to that individual, and he's got several options, either to add more Bitcoins or to pay, more, to pay the loan back faster. And this way, we kind of protect our position. Um, having margin calls uh, is something that we use in order to uh, deal with the uh, volatility of that coin. And as I said, uh, the more volatile the coin, the less capital we would allow people to borrow against that cryptocurrency. We do not allow people to borrow fiat. So as long as we have the, the crypto as a collateral, we work with the financial institutions that lend you the fiat, right? So we basically send our financial partners throughout the world. Um, um, and that's something that will ha obviously happen in the future. We're hard at work and striking various deals. We will basically instruct them to lend you fiat once you transfer those coins from Coinbase, Gemini, one of those wallets to our wallet.
So the good news for us is that we do not necessarily deal with fiat, right? You will not be able to buy coins with our wallets. Mm. All you'll be able to do is transfer coins from a wallet, which you had coins there initially, to our wallet. And as long as we don't touch the fiat, right? As long as all we do is passing instructions where to send the fiat, and as long as that, that fiat moves from the financial partner, right? From a, 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 either a bank or financial institution that has the license, and we rely on that license, we have no problem with regulators to the best of our knowledge right now. So um, that depends on, on several things. Um, we are hard at work with, um, um, in discussion with various financial partners. So it depends on where we're going to strike a deal first. Mm -hmm. Most likely we're going to start in the United States mm -hmm. and we'll slowly expand into Europe as well. Oh God. Um, you know, it's hard to tell. I think that, I think that blockchain as a technology is here to stay. Mm -hmm. uh, we're great believers in this. We're um, betting our lives and our career on, on the underlying technology for sure and on the use case of credit um, uh, more specifically. Uh, we think that 90% uh, of all coins and many of the companies that have raised money to date are not going to be with us uh, two years from today or 10 years, certainly not 10 years from today. And that's no different than many startups, right? The startup, most startups fail. I think that in this case, uh, the last year or so, uh, too many companies raised too much money. And, um, and I believe that with regulation that is coming, and while I'm a, a free market entrepreneur, if you wish, I believe that there is a, an important role that regulation should and can play in, um, in sorting out the, the bad from the good. And, and I think that uh, what we will see over the next year or so, certainly in the United States, but throughout the Western world and, and even Asia, is regulators taking a closer look at what uh, can and should be done and how much innovation um, should be allowed without hurting the, the, the little guy in the street that has been um, investing in some projects that should not be invested in. Um, we're bullish. You know, we are investing in this, we're advising uh, entrepreneurs, we're advising great projects. Uh, we think that uh, 10 years from now, we'd, uh, we would not want to remember what the world was like before blockchain. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, in 2000, in 2010, 2010, we do not remember what the world looked like before the internet. That's true. Um, so we, we are very hopeful and optimistic about, about the industry and the outlook overall. The ultimate goal, and that's the one thing that, um, that drives Alex and I and, and, and the whole team, mm -hmm. is to build a more uh, fair and balanced uh, financial system mm -hmm. for middle-class Americans and middle class, the middle class all over the world. Uh, we think that banks um, had played an important role, but have abused some of uh, the power that was given to them inherently by the system. Mm -hmm. um, we believe that uh, a world that pays you less than 1% on your savings mm -hmm. and charges you 15, 20 to 25% interest on, on your loans is not a fair world. Yeah. And I believe that people can be very successful and one can build a successful company without the greed that, that is built into the system. We saw that in 2008 and I think we're seeing that movie plays again uh, with these big banks becoming even bigger uh, to the point that they cannot fail. Um, there's no reason that banks will be, char will be charging the, the rates that they're charging and making billions of dollars just from credit. Uh, and we want to build uh, a financial um, platform that is more just. Um, and, and when you look at how we structure uh, um, Celsius, uh, it's we're thinking about the community first and foremost. And this is what guides us every single day. Are we doing the right thing by the community and for the community? Uh, this is all about bringing the next 100 million people to crypto.
So look, I think that it's all about decentralization, right? Um, it's all about uh, leveraging blockchain in order to achieve what it is that we're trying to do. And we are, we're keeping the, his vision in mind when yeah. we're building this platform. So they can go to Celsius.network um, starting uh, the 50th of the month at 9 p.m. Eastern, which I believe should be already here the 16th. Uh, they'll be able to uh, log in, create an account, and contribute to the project. Um, we left uh, enough capital for um, people from all, all around the world to participate in this. It was important for us um, not to take too much money on the pre-sale side, but to give everyone an opportunity to join the cause. Um, and this is an exciting opportunity for us. I think we live in exciting times. I think blockchain is finally giving power back to the people. Mm -hmm. And the only way we take the power back from the big guys, who've abused powers and played it against us, is by bringing more and more people to blockchain, is by coming up with this use case and we cannot, and I know, I know we're, I'm biased, we can't think of a better use case than, than credit and Celsius that plays an integral world, an integral uh, uh, role in building the financial platform of the future. So we look forward to having uh, uh, many people from Asia, from Korea, uh, and from all around the world joining the cause. We won't be able to make that difference that we want to make without their participation. You know, this is a big market for us. Um, I'm, this is my first time in Seoul. Um, I just landed here yesterday. Uh, and the, the, uh, the, uh, I, the warm welcome that I received by meeting so many people who are excited about crypto and blockchain is unparalleled to anywhere else. I've traveled all around the world. Alex is, uh, is in Italy right now. We're heading to San Francisco to participate in Token Fest. We were in Barcelona, in London, in Paris. and. I've never met so many people who, who love crypto, who believe in crypto. And I think I'm, I'm inspired after, after my trip here. I think that um, if I came here tired from all this hard work, I'm, I'm leaving this country inspired uh, and having more belief in the future of cryptocurrencies. Join the movement. I think I think I think that's that's the most important thing. You know, we're doing this, we're doing this for the people. Um, Alex uh, is a very successful guy, um, and I basically brought him back from retirement. And I think that uh, for a guy in his uh, you know his fifties, we're still young, mm -hmm. but to uh, work twenty-hour days, almost seven days a week, mm -hmm. uh, you got to be driven by a cause. You got to be driven by a mission. Yeah. Uh, it's much more than just about. Um, another exit for us. For us, we want to live a legacy for our kids. We want to live a legacy for this world. And um, we view Celsius as a great opportunity to leave that legacy, to build a better place for people to live. <laughs>